hey 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 what's up everybody happy motherfucking wednesday i am recording this the morning of the day i'm supposed to release it so um i hope they get out on time uh i hope everybody's doing well this is going to be your weekly tarot scope readings for all 12 signs uh time stamps will always be in the description um so this is going to cover november 18th through november 24th 2020 or when whenever you find them because divine timing is perfection <laughs> uh, remember to check your moon and rising sign readings as well as they'll give you different perspectives especially if you go to watch your sun sign and you're like nah this don't fit go to your moon and rising um i, I do additional readings on my instagram page at grateful underscore drake every tuesdays and fridays all right so you, if you can catch free readings why not if you're looking for a personal reading you can hit me in my dms at my Instagram at grateful underscore Drake and we book right there um, and then of course please while you're here hit that like button please hit that subscribe button you girl out here trying to make the dreams come true you know what I'm saying we out on a limb doing big things also um, if something resonated drop a heart you know let, let your girl know that hey I'm here I'd like to see your face I'd like to see your little your little profile dot and just kind of feel the energy between us and um, of course, the best way to give back is sharing, liking, and subscribing. All right, y'all, let's get into our motherfucking readings. We're going to start with all the water signs. Hey, Scorpios, we're starting with you again this week since, of course, it is your birthday season. Happy motherfucking birthday, and let's get into it, all right? Hmm. Scorpios, well, my girl, the high priestess is here for you today. So today we're looking at, for this week, we're looking at themes that involve using your psychic abilities and your intuition, okay? The high priestess also is a number two, so we're looking at making decisions, choices, direction, you know, maybe leaving or going, moving towards something new, you know, this or that. We're also looking at polarities and finding a, a balance between high highs and low lows, okay? The high priestess is the path of going within in order to get the answers. She doesn't need to go to people and, and hash out her issues. She doesn't need to talk a whole lot. She just gets really quiet and she goes within. She is led by her intuition and how she feels uh, she's also led by her um, psychic senses, you know, being able to see things, hear things, feel things, sense things, just know things. Um, so, yeah, so this is a deep path. It's kind of a lonely path, maybe a lonely time a little bit. We're going deep within the psyche. She's ruled by the moon. Um, the other thing is that in her shadow side, she's about keeping secrets, okay? So... The kind of secrets that aren't good for you to hold on to. So we might want to take a look at those types of issues this week. Okay, Scorpios? Scorpio. Knight of Wands flew out. Oh, what is that? Ooh, okay, hold on. Let me get this before I start losing track of what came out first. Ooh. The Hierophant came out, Two of Pentacles. Now, the Hierophant is the counterpart to the High Priestess, okay? They are homies. Uh, the difference between them is that the High Priestess is a very deep internal path that requires using her spirituality and her psychic senses, uh, senses to guide her, whereas the Hierophant, he's more about outward appearance, uh, not appearance, outward guidance he's a spiritual leader he's a spiritual teacher so you're either looking at um your spiritual guides or you're dealing with issues about you yourself being um somewhat of a, a guide for other people okay this is leading by example and um being deeply spiritually connected
sometimes I'll be feeling I'll be feeling shit on my face <laughs> and I look and there's nothing there maybe it was just a little hair I don't know okay so we have two very strong men that showed up here both of them major arcana cards, the Hierophant and the Emperor. So we're looking at issues with masculinity and the male role models in our life, the males in our life in general. Um, I'm glad both of these came up right because both of these, when they're reversed, they talk about abuse of power, but they both came up right. But there still may be kind of a theme that's lingering for you this week where it might be helpful to kind of delve into because there seems to be something about Either your father, your husband, your issues with that word father, that your issues with that word husband, how does it make you feel? Maybe you are the father, maybe you are the husband, or maybe you play that role. Um, there's something about the father for this week that feels like there's something kind of taking, stealing your peace of mind. Um, the emperor upright is a fair and just leader. He's, he, he serves for his people. You know, he doesn't serve just for himself. So he's uh, fair. But there's something here that feels a little off. Something kind of, maybe somebody took advantage of you at some point or something like that. Male energy, strong male energy, very kind of dominant energy. Uh, he's also ruled by the sign of Aries. It's almost like you have a choice about how you're going to see this situation. It's possible that you um, have your walls up and kind of got your guard up about something going on in your life that had a spiritual, um, kind of a spiritual aspect to it, um, rooted in spirituality, um, that you're now finding that you're having to make a choice about it or you're having to break some sort of pattern. Um, and how you look at masculinity, pop, possibly, how do you look at spirituality and how is it linked with discipline, order, and structure? Do those two, for you, kind of butt heads, okay? Do they, um, are they opposites? Are they, polar are they polarized? right? Kind of like this too, this high priestess. So if you're having angst about anything like this, it's about getting quiet and going within. Um, I'm just, I keep looking at my necklace because it's, it's mother Mary on my necklace, but mother Mary reminds me a lot of the high priestess. So, um, she's got a similar stance and anyway, it's just, my, sorry, my brain went off somewhere. It's almost like you're restructuring your spiritual beliefs, restructuring and building the walls to what you now believe to be is your spirituality. Okay, there's definitely a theme about um, mentally there's been something that's kind of bothered you in regards to spirituality and how it weaves into discipline, your discipline, maybe your practices or your father. Okay. Let's check the bottom of the deck. Oh, I was like, can you see? Yeah, six of swords. So this is a departure. This is moving in a different direction, choosing a different path, okay? Leaving kind of a rocky time, going to smoother seas. Um, is making a decision, okay? Sixes are right after the five. Fives are challenges and change. Um, so sixes are over the hump. You've just gotten over the hump. Um, let, let's pull this deck here. I brought this here. I used this for myself last night and it was like, I pull cards for myself every night. I pull three, sometimes more, just depending if some fly out. And it was so fucking like, it wasn't even like I pulled it and it was something so unexpected, but it was so helpful. Um, it wasn't what I thought thought I was going through so anyway it was just so good so I thought oh let me use these tomorrow for the readings um so what needs to be healed Scorpio what needs to be healed what do we need to see that's hard for us to see Scorpio please sun moon and rising Scorpio sun moon and rising sun moon and rising 
and then I'm using this Scorpio. Oh, how funny. You guys got have faith. Number 22, have faith. So we, do, we have talked a lot. Oops. Right? That was kind of my... Um, dang it. It's not how I want it. Damn it. That's fine. Okay, so have faith. There's some situation that you're supposed to have faith with. I mean, this is definitely a faith-based uh, card. Let's look at the book here. Have faith. I mean, faith is everything. It's like trust, too. It's not just about religion or spirituality. It's about trusting in the process, okay? Faith requires you to believe in something that is not yet evident to the naked eye. To generate more faith, focus on the why. Your dreams, to generate more faith, focus on the why. Your dreams, desires, feelings, attitudes, and thinking, and not on the how, the action plan, strategies, and skills. Your whole life, uh, you have been taught to think about the how, which leads to doubt and fear. The wisdom of this card is asking you to only focus on the why. Like, why are you doing it? What really makes you happy? The magic that will happen if you stop focusing on the how and only on the why is that after some time of practice, you will notice that the how will present itself to you. So don't worry about the how right now. Oh, that rhymed. All right, y'all. So have faith. Just see the end product and um, the house will will come together. All right. I love you, Scorpios. Remember to check your moon and rising and like my shit if you're still here. I'd appreciate it. All right. Bye. Cancers, happy motherfucking Wednesday. I hope you're doing well. Remember to check your moon and rising sign readings as well. And please hit that like button while you're here. Let's get into your motherfucking reading, shall we? We shall. All right. We're going to start with these major arcana cards. I've got a new deck up here as well. Uh, so this is uh, going to be Juicy Cancers. Let's do this. Oh, how funny on the bottom was your card. The Chariot. The Chariot. Cancers, please. Cancers. One more time. <laughs> the Hierophant. Okay, so um, the Hierophant, you guys, is a very spiritual path. The Hierophant talks about um, our spiritual leaders, our spiritual teachers, the people that give us guidance um, about spirituality and or religion. Okay, um, this could indicate kind of a restructuring of your own spiritual or religious beliefs. This could talk about... Um, the issues you've had growing up with your own religion or spiritual beliefs and um, kind of like the angst that can happen sometimes when we grow up, grow up being told one thing that doesn't really feel like it sits right with us, okay? So some of us could be changing and some of us as well could be um, spiritual leaders of some sort or be guiding other people in some way. The Hierophant is the path of, um, just this is a super noble path, okay? This is somebody who has a lot of, um, it just depends on how you look at it. I was going to say a lot of pressure to, to do the right thing, but um, it's, it's more of like um, a responsibility to um, carry yourself in a certain way that, um, that reflects what you're teaching, and do the teachers that you follow carry themselves in such a way that reflect what they're teaching? So we're looking at, uh, you know, honesty and things like that as well. It's also a number five, uh, which uh, is a number of challenges and change. So this can be a path that is like a pretty heavy path. Uh, everybody wants to be spiritual, but uh, let's, let's, let's keep it real. The spiritual path is kind of like... Um, in a lot of ways can be kind of lonely, um, is, is, is not the most common path, right? So it, it feels, uh, like you're kind of going it alone. So, um, it can be a time of kind of solitude.
these hoots keys. Okay, you guys, I pulled you five cards. Three, the three center cards are major arcana cards, so I want to focus on those first. Okay, let's not do that. Let's start. In, let's start with the the first and the last card. The first and the last card are both wands. Okay, so there's something that is requiring you to um, get creative and to dip into your passions and to live out things that make you really happy and make you feel really excited. There may be something that's kind of wrapped up and come to an end that you're feeling some some resistance to. Um, they're wanting you to kind of look into your past a little bit to find creative, re to tap into your creative resources. Maybe there's something you used to do that um, brought you a lot of joy. The center card is the Wheel of Fortune and it's reversed, okay? Um, so we're looking at maybe a path even that is destined or fated for you, but it's almost like whenever I see the Wheel of Fortune reverse, to me, it kind of tells me that this has been an opportunity that's been open to you before, but that you've like passed it up time and time again. Um, so they're want, it feels like it's coming back around for you. They're wanting you to take advantage of it. Um, It's a very creative, fertile time for you. The Empress is the second card that came out. So we're looking at tapping into your divine femininity in order to see this, see this situation clearly, see this path clearly. There's also, you guys got the Strength card, which talks about releasing, letting, uh, letting go, letting go of control, surrendering to, to, the, to what's going on at this time. So, um... Maybe you're even stuck in the past. You know, there's a few things that could be happening here. Either you're supposed to go into the past. You'll know what's right for you. Either you're supposed to move into the past a little bit to kind of generate some of that old creative energy that may uh, was something that you used to do that brought you a lot of joy. Or they're saying, hey, you're all, you keep going back to the past. So let's, let's, let's turn the wheel and let's get a fresh approach here. There may even be a situation with a fire sign person, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, who may even be coming back from your past. But the thing is, uh, and it's like the same thing with the Wheel of Fortune. It's like you've kind of had this opportunity with this person uh, before, and um, it's like the timing's off. Okay, it feels like the timing is off. Uh, around this person, you feel sensual, sexual, beautiful, like ooshy gushy, ooey gooey, like really beautiful. But um, the Knight of Wands to me is always kind of the energy of um, like if you really want that solid fire sign person, we'd want to be looking at the King of Wands. But we instead we got the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands for me is somebody who's really not going to stick around for that long. So either it's a fire sign person or it's just kind of somebody with that personality. Um, but it's like this new beginning that's supposed to happen or something came to an end that you didn't want to wrap up here. Okay, let's check the bottom of the... Okay, see, I knew that was probably not a good place for that, but I put it there anyway, so we're going to have to... Excuse me. Close up. Hey, hey, hey. Let me see, make sure that's right. Okay, bottom of the deck. The Fool. Okay, so the Fool came reversed. Let's talk about the Fool reverse. The Fool reverse is about rushing in. It's about being careless, okay? Um, it's also about a new start. So there's possible you guys have, there's something like a new cycle that's here for you. But maybe we you have a tendency to kind of rush into things, okay? Kind of impulsive energy. Um, all right, so what, what, um, what needs to be healed? What needs to be looked at at this time? Cancer signs. What needs to be healed or looked at at this time? What needs to be seen clearly, healed, revealed? Healing. 
21. So let me pull my book here. No shit. Okay. Healing. Illness. Oh, let's see. Okay. Oh, well. I guess y'all don't need to see my face, right? <laughs> Illness and pain in your body is a message for you to slow down. Look within and make important changes. If you're experiencing stress, feel overwhelmed, are suffering ailments in your body, or feel exhausted and depressed, it means that your body is trying to communicate with you. Your body wants you to start treating it in a more loving manner and listening to the messages it is sending you. You need to become conscious of the areas in your life that you are avoiding or suppressing. Healing takes time. It's a process. Your first steps toward healing is to create a safe, loving, supportive environment where you can listen to your inner wisdom. All right, so they're talking more about physical healing, but for some of y'all, it might be mental, emotional healing of some sort as well. All right, Cancer Signs, I love you guys. If you're still here, please hit that like button. And remember, if this didn't resonate, check your moon and rising for additional, not even additional messages. Um, your reading may be over there. All right, y'all. Happy motherfucking Wednesday. Pisces, what's up, Chuck? Happy motherfucking Wednesday. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, please hit that like button. Help your girl. Help your girl. Help your girl. Help me out. Help your sister out. Help your sister out. Help your girl out. Help me out. <laughs> oh my God, what a nerd. All right, Pisces. So we're going to start with these major arcanas today. Um, and then remember to check your moon and rising sign readings as well, especially if you're finding that this one isn't resonating, then most likely your message is over there. Okay. Pisces, please. Pisces. Pisces, please. Okay. The sun card. So we're bringing joy and light and love back into our life. Some of you may even be dealing with your own son. You may be a son dealing with issues with uh, babies being born at this time. Uh, this is about vulnerability, remembering where we come from, and just enjoying life. Uh, I know the weather in my area has been pretty gloomy lately, uh, so this may be an indication some people need some vitamin D. Uh, this is this card is just about ultimate joy. So if you're having a hard time, this is coming in to hopefully bring some light to your day. Okay. Pisces. Okay, so for some of you, you may be getting with a friend, somebody you, or a woman that is wise and mature like yourself. You guys are coming together at this time, and it feels like you guys are creating love together. Like there's some sort of um, fulfillment that's available between your relationship, within your relationship. Um, so I'm seeing a few different things. So we have three people that showed up, the Queen of Wands, Page of Cups, and Queen of pentacles so this could also be um pisces this could also be you know fire sign energy female fire sign male water sign and female earth sign um there seems to be kind of a theme about you coming back to center and feeling good about yourself either that or we're dealing with issues in career that um where in the past you felt like um you weren't receiving, you know, um, 
compensated fairly for your work okay it's it's like you had a wish to have a job or to have something that felt fulfilling and uh, balanced and and fair and equal but it didn't turn out that way so it's possible you're moving into a new phase of your life where um, you're kind of coming into your power the queen of wands is the center card that shows up and she's our she's our vibrant spiritual queen of the queens okay they're all spiritual, but she kind of has an emphasis on like, you know, um, really manifesting what she would like. And um, she's very creative and passionate. Okay, so it's it's like you're trying to, you're tired of the old way, you're tired. And so Queen of Wands comes in the center to show like you, you are powerful, you are manifesting at this time, there's something fruitful and fulfilling that's on its way in page of cups could either be a young gentleman or or it talks about a new offer or a new something for that can be fulfilling but it's kind of in the in the development phase okay um in in the long run what this is going to do is really help you with your self-esteem and your sense of self-worth um getting you grounded um and helping you find career and just joy that is uh will give you everything that all the resources that you could need as a human being, whether it be money, uh, career opportunities, or just feeling grounded, healthy. This is having good health. Okay. So maybe even your, your health was, um, out of balance for a long time. And there seems to be this new kind of, uh, vibrant, sunny energy coming in for you. Okay. Bottom of the deck. I'll keep doing that. It's the hermit. Okay. Hermit reverse. So the hermit is about going within in order to navigate, okay? His lantern is um, the symbol for his inner guidance system, his intuition and his, um, his kind of uh, awareness of what's best for him, okay? So when he comes reverse, we're having a hard time with that guidance system. It's also the card of Virgo, so... Some of y'all might be having, um, Virgo might be a theme for you in your life at this time. So we're just wanting to remind you that anytime you feel confused or don't know where to go, you actually have all the answers within, okay? He's also the oldest person in the deck. So um, this is about your wisdom, how, how wise you are, okay? And... Um, so just remember who you are. We all have this wisdom within us. It's just a matter of uh, wading through all the shit that we don't learned growing up that um, hasn't served us. So we're, we're rediscovering this path, okay? What uh, needs to be healed? What needs to be revealed? Uh, or what is hidden? Pisces. Pisces needs to be healed, revealed, or what's hidden. What needs to be healed or revealed? Makes more sense. What needs to be healed or revealed for Pisces? Hole in the soul, right? That kind of makes sense why you would get sun. If you're you're coming out of a really hard time and feeling like you're kind of empty. Hole in the soul, okay? It's labeled number 36. That's a nine, okay? At the end of a cycle. So hopefully we're wrapping this period up. Your childhood wounds are creating a hole in your soul. One way your childhood wounds disrupt an extraordinary life is through low-grade depression experienced as a perpetual empty feeling. If as a child you tried to make everything all right by picking up the pieces of your family dramas, then you adopted a false self. When you lose your authentic self, you disconnect from your true feelings, needs, and desires. Instead, you wear a mask to make others feel more comfortable. Being detached leads to profound loneliness and isolation as you're always mourning your true self. This card encourages you to discover your true self through learning about your childhood and mourning the abandonment and neglect you felt. So kind of got to go there, guys, in order to get better. 
All right, Pisces, I love you guys. If you're still here, please hit that like button. And uh, remember to check your moon and rising signs as well. All right, y'all. Love you. Hello, Aquarius. Happy motherfucking Wednesday. How's everybody doing? The camera's right here, but my face is right here. So I naturally want to look here, but I'm like, damn, I can't. So um, if you're here, please hit that like button. And um, remember to check your moon and rising sign readings as well. Especially if you, you're finding that this one isn't resonating. It means your reading is elsewhere. Okay, it's at your, your rising or your moon. Could be at your Venus too. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's go, Aquarius. What's going on with y'all this week? Aquarius, please. One more again. One more again. Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising, please. The world. Okay, so you guys got 21, the last of the major arcanas. So you guys are stepping out. This, uh, some cycle has come to a close, and this is a time where you've had to be very vulnerable. Um, they're applauding your vulnerability. Um, remember, don't shy away from this. Um, something I've been studying, researching, reading on a lot lately is archetypes. And one of my predominant archetypes that uh, kind of has been leading my life without me really know realizing what or why it was about was the saboteur. The saboteur is somebody who will sabotage um, themselves um, and not really understanding why it's happening and just kind of old patterns and habits. So if there's, you can sense this newness coming into your life, this freshness, this new cycle taking place opportunities happening for you take it it's your time because when the world card shows up it really tells us that it's a period of like tremendous growth and new cycles so let's get into this new cycle and embrace it okay it's gonna feel kind of uh vulnerable it's gonna feel a little bit uncomfortable okay but um that's how we grow okay and congratulations to those who are aware of this and are doing the work, okay? Oh yeah, that too, that too, that too, that too. Oh Lord. I'm just coming out before I'm ready, but that's, it's ready. I was, she was like, Shh, I was ready, mom, I was ready. Aquarius. 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 Okay, y'all got a lot of court cards in, in your reading. You also got a lot of male. They're all male court cards. So the court cards in Tarot are people in our lives. Okay, we have King of Pentacles, who's reverse, which is uh, typically Earth sign energy, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. But doesn't have to. So if that doesn't fit, what we're looking at when we see reverse King of Pentacles is either a man who's like really in his ego, right? Somebody who's... Um, kind of takes advantage or um, is uh, can be manipulative with money um, or can also be um, somebody who's who's like really bad with money now if this doesn't fit okay and big big time ego as well if this is a person if it's not a person it's just a financial situation or it's a it's a it's a situation that has to do with our resources um, as human beings. So it could be our homes, it could be our um, relationships, it could be our jobs. Okay, our resources, things that we can um, account for uh, and see with our eyes. Okay, um, that's kind of really taking the wind out of your sails. Okay, um, 
doesn't feel good. It feels very unfair. Okay, the justice card. However, we have this kind of new budding kind of fresh um, proposition or offer on the table, uh, possibly even compensating for some other offer that looked more um, looked more fulfilling, that looked like it was really going to go somewhere. Um, another way of looking at this is that um, some of you have been dealing with two, a few different guys, okay? which is, girl, keep your options open, you know what I'm saying? Uh, earth sign and then water sign. Um, the earth sign and water sign uh, energies feel like they didn't pan out the way you thought they would. Maybe it's just even somebody who's out there been doing a lot of dating. And then um, here you got this king of knight of cups who came trotting in, um, showing you he was going to do all this and that. But uh, really, it kind of turned out to be kind of like this juvenile kind of offer, okay? Um, so center card is justice, which is the card of Libra. So it's air sign energy, but this is really about, um, you know, things feeling very unfair. This could be legal issues, court cases, uh, documents, uh, divorces, possibly, um, paperwork contracts, that type of thing. So, um, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. I'm actually kind of curious. So if you're worried, okay, about my, my, money. I don't know if I was going to say finances, money. I don't know. If you're worried about money, if you're worried about finances, if you're worried about your career, if you're worried about your assets and your resources, don't worry. Things might look a little gloomy right now, but this is spirit coming in, letting you know, letting you know that you're supported and that everything will be okay. They got you. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, that's that. Let's go ahead. What needs to be healed or what needs to be revealed? For Aquarius, what needs to be healed or revealed for Aquarius, please? Excuse me. Healed or revealed for Aquarius? Healed or revealed for Aquarius, please? Oh. Okay. Got two. 29. Discover your life purpose. And 11. Take off your mask. So some of you need to, you may even be aware of there's some sort of fresh start or um, a transition that you need to make that requires you to really step into your truth and be authentic. All right. So let's do it. It's the best time to start right, right now. Happy motherfucking Wednesday. If you're still here, please hit that like button and uh, remember to check your moon and rising signs. Okay, Aquarius. I love you guys. Bye. Gemini, what's up? Happy motherfucking Wednesday. I hope you are doing well. Please hit that like button while you're here. I would appreciate it. And remember to check your moon and rising sign readings as well, especially if you begin watching this and this isn't resonating. That means your message is over there, okay? Uh, now, don't mind me. I have, I don't know what's going on here, but you know when you got a little tickle and it's literally, anyways, it's, and I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't find it. <laughs> and it's like every time I exhale, I can feel him waving in the air, but he's not there. So it must be a little hair. So if I'm, you know, it seems like that's just trying to figure out what's going on with Alfred. All right, Gemini. Gemini, please. Sun, moon, and rising, please, Gemini. Ah, the chariot. Yeah, so this is successful endeavors. This is, if you are, um, you just started something new, you you moving in a new direction that maybe felt bold or daring or like, fuck, then you're on the right path, okay? This talks about karma's course is a very karmic time for you, um, meant to be destiny, fate. Uh, this also talks about you being vulnerable. It's also ruled by the um, sign of cancer. So we're looking at the crab and you needing to be um, vulnerable and um to put yourself out there this is about successful endeavors this could also talk about be talking about traveling or getting a new car even um so it's also seven seven is a very lucky number uh seven when you type in seven in my um my numerology uh app the mantra is i will heal so how bomb is that <laughs> 
All right, let's get into it. What about what else about chariot? Destiny. Success. It's um, it's a successful whatever it is you're doing. Keep going. You're traveling in the right direction. You're moving in the right direction. Okay, Gemini. Y'all got the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Both of these are, to me, the, the two little sneaky bastards of the deck. Um, so it just feels like you've probably dealt with themes in your life that um, caused you to be kind of on the defense a little bit. Um, maybe dealing with people who tried to get over on you, who maybe have stolen from you, who have uh, treated you unfairly, um, which has caused you to be maybe even really stubborn and unwilling to accept help because you feel like you have to do everything yourself. Um, I'm actually wanting to, where's the other piece? Where's the other third of the deck? There it is, right there. Um, the center card you guys got is the star card, which is the card of Aquarius, air sign energy. The star card is your dreams come true, man you know, the manifestation of your dreams coming true. It's also about stepping into your power, stepping into your light, stepping into your vulnerability in order to help your dreams come true. Both the chariot, if you'll see, and, and the star have the theme of the stars. So this is telling me that somebody here is definitely meant for greatness. You're supposed to really be out there shining. You're supposed to really be doing your thug fizzle. Okay, so whatever you've gone through in your past that could possibly, wow, came out again. That's, okay, I'm not even, that's good. That's good. That's So we're, we're kind of maybe a little stuck here, okay? These majors that I pull in the beginning, I'm not, I'm not reading any of them reverse. Okay. I'm just talking about what they mean. Um, so if by chance you're like, uh, yeah, but I've been really stuck and oh, this isn't true. What this is telling me is the shadow side of this card is about feeling stuck. Look at this guy. He's, it, it appears that he's like submerged in this like cement block. Like he can't move. Right. So, so the shadow side of the chariot would be like, you feel like you can't move. And I think it's because you're kind of stuck in the past about some things that have been done to you or things that you've gone through that have, you know, they have now, whoever this was that did something to you has infiltrated your mind. You know what I'm saying? They have taken something from you. So now it's up to you to take that shit back. They're not allowed to live in here motherfucking rent free. You know what I'm saying? So it's time for you to take it back. Once you can release and let go, eight of wands comes is the last card. Is like swooping in to clear that energy out. This is spirit messages and true love. So anything that you would want or need uh, to manifest in your life or that would you would just would love to have, it's here for you. But you got to release some of this bullshit. Bottom of the deck, king of pentacles reverse. So we're looking at being stuck financially. Um, because of it, we're looking at uh, men who could possibly earth, be earth sign, uh, Virgo, Taurus, thank you, and Capricorn. Um, so um, we're also looking at people very much in their ego. This could be people who are in charge at work, our bosses, uh, even um, just older male energy that is kind of like abusive with their power and abusive with money. Okay. Uh, what needs to be healed or revealed? Okay. Okay. We have nine. How teachable are you? How teachable are you is the... the the um the card for you number nine 
This is about remembering. The reason why children are so great is because they know that they're kids and they know that they don't know any better. So they're so receptive and impressionable and they're so easy to, they, they learn really quickly. But when we become adults, we become really rigid and stuck in thinking that our way is the only way. So how teachable are you? Okay. Um, are you open to learning new things in your life? How high is your desire to let go of judgment, doubt, negativity, and self-sabotage? Okay. So even though somebody might have done something to me in my past, it's now it's now mine. Thank you, motherfucker. You suck, but damn. Now it's mine and I have to take accountability for it and I have to then grow from it. I have to find a way to release it. Okay, so that's self-sabotage at its finest. When things that from our past that unfortunately have become ours will manifest in patterns that continue, that have us continuing to make the same motherfucking mistakes over and over again. I'm going through this right now working on some of this sabotage energy. What are some of your favorite things to do? Is it to watch TV, go shopping, play golf, drink, gossip with your friends? Are you willing to give those things up in order to create time to learn something new? Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? What is your willingness to really apply what you learn? You might be learning many new things, but be resistant to change. Every time you begin to think, I already know this, I've heard this before, this doesn't apply to me. Your ability to learn diminishes enormously and it is up. It is at this point you may become virtually be, virtually unteachable without re realizing it. Unless you apply what you have learned. That's funny. Learned with the T. Learned into your life. You won't really know it. This card is beckoning you to not only be open-minded but to take specific action toward change all right y'all y'all gotta be flexible it ain't cute to be rigid okay please like this video if you're still here and um check your moon and rising signs as well i'd appreciate it i love you guys happy motherfucking wednesday i hope you're doing well libra happy motherfucking wednesday hope you're doing well drive safe in this wet weather at least it's wet out here in northern california uh, let's get into it. Okay, so remember, please like this video. I'll give you a second to do it. Thank you. Um, also, remember to check your moves and, moves and rising. <laughs> your moon and rising sign videos, maybe even your Venus sign video. If you don't know your Venus sign, you can just Google that shit. Um, so if you are watching this and it doesn't resonate or whatever, your reading is, you got to go somewhere else. You know, you got to check your moon rising or your Venus um, so yeah, thanks for being here and welcome. If you're new, let's get into it, Libras. Ew. Okay, the Emperor, okay? sign of Aries ruled by the sign of Aries and the emperor energy it well he's first of all he's the father and the husband so some of us are dealing with issues with our fathers with our husbands maybe we are the father we are the husband maybe we are women and we play this role somehow um so in his light upright position this guy is great he is structured he's ordered he's disciplined he he follows the rules um he's fair okay and he he rules the household he rules the the land in a way that that is looking out for the collective he he he's it's not just about him right he's he's serving the people uh in his shadow he's dominant he's aggressive he's authoritative he um he's disrespectful he's volatile he's rude he's only serving for himself he's it's all about him and his needs so we're looking at this kind of very uh suppressive kind of masculine energy this these can be women too but this is just really wants you to get the feel of like kind of very a dominant uh suppressive energy when it's in its shadow so which is it for you okay 
So um, some of us may be looking to hopefully balance some of that energy out within ourselves. Maybe you have people in your lives who are um, doing the most and um, you're hoping to find some balance and some resolution there, okay? Libras. Someone's been doing a lot of work, okay? So all your cards came up right, which is really powerful. It doesn't always happen. Um, so you have been working on, well, you've been juggling a lot. Uh, possibly you've been dealing with two partners, two people. Maybe there's some sort of change that you've had to make. Um, and we're really looking at when we see two of pentacles, especially followed by the sun card, like this is really powerful. This shows that somebody here has had to make um, a change in the patterns of their behavior. Um, somebody who's had to kind of look at their lives and reevaluate what's working, what's not working, what's no longer going to work for me, and has had a successful change or transition of these patterns. This is you breaking ties um, that were taught to you by family, uh, by society, okay? This is um, possibly you having a lot to juggle, but you coming out on top. The sun card can also talk about, um, you know, the suns in our life. But really this, for me, feels like maybe even some of y'all have been dealing with kind of very heavy, kind of suppressive energy. It could be either at work, at home, um, extended family, friendships with people who kind of have this very dominant kind of energy. Um, and you've had to really find a balance here, okay? So the sun card uh, is like, yay, it's like this really celebratory kind of energy. Center card, which stands up tall and proud, is the four of swords. When this comes up right, this tells me that you've really been able to go within and get quiet and that you realize you've needed to kind of rest at this time. It's maybe kind of been kind of downtime for you in a way. Even if you're still working, maybe you're going to school, maybe you're still dealing with the kids, maybe you're, you know, still have a busy life. But there's been some sort of aspect going back to the two of pentacles, some pattern or habit that um, you found yourself to be more quiet lately or more introspective about the issue. Okay. Um, you could be dealing with somebody, King, King of Swords, is air sign energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or this is an element of yourself, but this shows um, a, a good man. Or if it's an element of yourself, this shows you being a great communicator, um, expressing your needs, uh, yet having flexibility and kindness in the way that you express yourself. These people um, have clear perspectives and they are not um, going to, um, they're going to rule fairly as well. So they might have to get a point across, but they're not going to rip you a new one. They're going to be fair and just, okay? These people are also good listeners, okay? Um, then it's followed, last card you guys got is the hangman, which comes upright, which is bomb. So this, again, kind of gives me a, kind of a heads up, letting you know you're doing a really good job, kind of living in the unknown. There's something that's been kind of up in the air for you um, that's probably been very uncomfortable and difficult for you, but you've kind of surrendered to this energy. You've surrendered to it, which has made you more enlightened, Okay, so this is really a good time, a time where it's going to um, require patience. You've probably been very patient. Um, the cards are all really bright, but it feels like you're making leaps and bounds towards becoming a better, more whole person. Okay, so this is bomb. Bottom of the deck. Yay, three of wands, new start. So a new cycle is about to come, come back around. Three of wands is a job well done. He's taking a step back. He's, he's resting. He's like, wow, he's looking at the ships down below. Even though the water's yellow, that, that's the sea down there. And the ships have set sail. And he's done a, a good job. Uh, so what needs to be healed or revealed for Libras? What needs to be healed or revealed for Libras? Healed or revealed for Libras? Healed or revealed for 
about Libras. Okay. Pay attention to signs. All right. So this is about, look, there's an owl here. So we're looking at being very astute to just the things that are happening around you. So these are could be signs and feelings and nudges and urges within you, right? Just kind of feelings, uh, just kind of knowing something. But this also talks about like physical signs around you um, that are tipping you off toward the next path to choose or the next decision. Um, how do I go about this next step? Oh, pay attention to what's happening around you. Okay, let me just kind of read what it says in the book. Signs are all around you. Open your mind and pay closer attention to your environment. Your angels know that you have been feeling lost about the direction you need to take in your life and the decisions you need to make. They have heard your frustrations and pleas for help. They ask you to slow down, stop focusing on the problem, and allow a solution to come into your reality. Your spiritual helpers have been organizing synchronistic events and support for you, but you keep thinking in the same stubborn way. Relax and look at life in a more creative way. Pay attention to repetition, rep, repetitive signs and signals. A sign can come in the form of a song, a movie, a book, nature, animals, people, thoughts, dreams, visions, etc. At times, your body also gives you signs. Your body may be telling you to rest, change your diet, or to work on challenging emotions. Be sure to take these signs seriously. Yeah, so... Seems like you guys are doing good, but yes, pay attention to what's happening around you. All right, y'all, if you're still here, please hit that like button. Remember to check your moves and moves and rising. What am I, the moves? What the fuck? <laughs> your moon, your moon and rising. All right, y'all. Bye. Aries, what's up? Happy motherfucking Wednesday. I hope you guys are doing well. Remember to check your moon and rising sign readings as well, especially if you start watching these and realize they don't resonate. Uh, means your readings are over there. Um, also, while you're here, please hit that like button. I would appreciate it greatly. Let's get into motherfucking reading, shall we? Aries. Aries. Yikes. Crikey. So we got for you the tower. Okay. So the tower is what happens, uh, what goes on in our lives when, uh, it's time to make a change and we're having a hard time doing it on our own. Okay. Sometimes we do this ourselves. Sometimes we move towards this because we understand what's best for us. And there's kind of like this devastation or breakdown of the, the old way. It's, 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 it's to serve our highest good. And nobody wants to hear that shit uh, when we're going through a hard time, but that's really what it's here for. It's so that you can um, level up, okay? They want to clear the way because better stuff is on the horizon for you, okay? Aries. <clears throat> what might this be about? like a bunch fell out but no, nothing fell out Aries. wow Okay, so you guys are learning how some of y'all are having um, transitions in career and finance, maybe even with your home. But for others of you, it's about, you know, rediscovering your self-worth, okay? So the first card that came out is the moon card. Um, the moon card, some people call it the dark night of the soul. Uh, let's see, where is the moon card in relation? Yeah, the moon card is two cards after the tower. So 
there's the tower, uh, the, the breakdown of everything, and then we have to get through the dark phase. We have to go through the night, the dark night of the soul, in order to kind of um, decompress and process everything that's happened in the wake of the tower falling down. Okay, so the moon is heavy energy, okay? It's also ruled by the sign of Pisces, which is a water sign. I just realized it's hella cold in this house, and the heater's not on, so I'm going to have to turn that on in a minute. So you guys are going through a process here that's really important to be going through it. Um, don't resist it. It actually, it does feel like there's a little bit of resistance to it. Um, the center card is the Eight of Cups reversed. It's your only reversal, which kind of talks about, look, even the moon is out in this card, talking about walking through. Look at the transition of these cards. Here's your moon, right? And then we walk through the journey. We're moving through the journey. Look at the people walking. Look at this theme, walking through the process um, of the moon phase, of the tower. Um, so it's really important to keep moving. Don't get stuck there. But they want you to go. definitely go through it and feel it. Um, when we have the five of pentacles following the moon, we're really looking at um, you moving through this process of, of self-worth. Um, it can have to do with self-esteem and it can also do have to do with what you what you deserve in work right are you being paid what you deserve um yes okay the thing about this is this eight of cups came reversed so this this movement through this journey feels a little stifled a little bit stunted uh you're having a little bit of a hard time seeing um just wanting to move through it okay so it's kind of like hanging on to the past and it may not may not even be like you're meaning to do it on purpose. It's just kind of what you're used to, what you know. The thing about it is uh, they want you to keep moving through it because look, even moving in the same direction, even this page of pentacles is moving in this direction. If you can move through this gracefully and not be so stubborn and stuck in your own ways, there's this rebirth process of either your financial space or your career or your sense of self-worth and the, val the way you value yourself that is wanting to be birthed, okay? The last card is the, th the Three of Cups. This is social gatherings and spirit being happy for you and celebrating, coming together, um, being supported by your loved ones and your friends, okay? So successful in the end. Bottom of the deck, the Magician reverse. So some of us might feel actually very stifled having a hard time seeing how we can make this transition, okay? This is alchemy. This is um, also self-worth. Look, he takes up the space. He's like, yes, this is the space I will take up, okay? It's a process in learning. Um, it, it, it can be a process in, in realizing that your self-worth is a direct, has a direct connection with how much you speak up, how much you ask for, how much you... Um, uh, put out there what you say, how you know, so it's 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 a process So we, we want you to realize how powerful you actually are and that you should take up that space. Okay Let's look at Aries. Let's look at what needs to be healed or what needs to be revealed What needs to be healed or revealed Aries Healed or revealed Aries, please Uh, take off your mask. So not that you're lying to anybody or, or you're fronting, but there's just, there's more of you to be seen. There's more of you to be revealed. There's more of you to show. Okay. You are so much more than what you are putting out at this time. Uh, they want you to step even further into your, your authentic, authentic self. All right, Aries, if you're still here, please hit that like button. And remember to watch your moon and rising sign readings and please share these videos. I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye. Leo, what's up, Chuck? Happy motherfucking Wednesday. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, remember to check your moon and rising sign readings, especially if you find this one isn't resonating. That means your reading is over there. Um, also, uh, please hit that like button. Couldn't think of what I was wanting to say. I appreciate you guys for being here. Really, really, really I do. Well, let's get into a motherfucking reading, shall we? Let's go.
Leo, please. Sun, moon, and rising. Oh, there it is. Justice card. So. Damn. Sorry. I love all this sparkling water. You know what I'm saying? So it makes me. But it's so tasty. Okay. So here's the justice card. Justice card is about fairness, right? Balance. Some of us either need to bring more balance into our lives. So it could be as simple as like bringing, you know, you know, if we're got a lot of energy and we're super hyper and we're active, go, 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 it might be a time to take a rest. Okay. So it could be about balancing energies, but it could also be about legal matters going on, court cases, divorces, marriages, um, paperwork for houses and, and contracts, things of that nature. Um, can also have to do about somebody who has taken advantage of you and you're working on finding the peace of mind within yourself in order to navigate that situation okay it's also ruled by the sign of libra so some of y'all might be dealing with libras at this time or you might be uh, moon and rising libra maybe venus libra maybe you got libra all up in your chart somehow leo 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 Leon, 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 Leo, 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 please. Sun, moon rising. Leo. Leo, Wow. You got one upright card, which is the center card, the five of pentacles, which is like being really stuck and like feeling sorry for yourself. This could be, oh, I don't feel, you know, I feel sorry for myself, but, or it could also have to deal with kind of missing the miracle or, um, having, not being able to see your worth completely. Okay. The first two cards, both sword cards, we're looking at the five of swords and the queen of swords. So possibly you went through somebody who's got a nasty ass filthy mouth um, and you feel like they did you dirty. Queen of swords energy is Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Or it just symbolizes somebody because queen of swords reverse is somebody who's volatile, who is a terrible communicator, um, can be really nasty, can also be very detached somebody who has a hard time seeing a situation clearly or fairly their perspective is really skewed okay they could be could even be trying to take advantage of the situation okay the last two cards are queen of pentacles reverse and two of cups so there's some sort of relationship with somebody that you had here that felt uh very unfair somebody maybe really did take advantage uh do something faulty with money or possessions or resources okay take something from you also somebody could really be in their ego queen of pentacles reverse she's earth sign but if she's if that doesn't fit this is somebody who's really in their ego like gimme 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 um kind of took advantage of the relationship something that you thought was going to be a, a fruitful connection has ended up being quite unhealthy all right so there's something definitely here why i see under, i understand why the justice card came out bottom of the deck lots of air sign energy leos so i feel like you're de dealing for sure with somebody gemini libra libra or aquarius um bottom of the deck knight of swords reverse this motherfucker ain't cool okay same thing he's an air sign person this is um issues about impulse impulsivity just like volatile energy uh reckless and careless with their mouth um uh, really focusing on the past all they can ever do is like the past the past the past like fool come on let's, let's get it together we already talked about that always going back to the past um what needs to be healed or revealed what needs to be healed or revealed for leos sun moon and rising healed or revealed for leos <clears throat> Leos, healed or revealed. Leos, please. Leos. One more. <clears throat> okay, we're going to do a cut, cut, cut. Let's.
letting go. So some y'all gotta let go of something, okay? Number twenty six. Let me pull the book on this, but there's something that needs to be let go of. Look, somebody, and it could be the other person too. Look at how in the background is like these foggy, uh, shadowy figures. So really, like somebody's harping a lot on things, uh, bringing up things from the grave, and um, go de um, focusing on the past a lot. This situation has served its purpose, okay? You're being challenged to change your point of view and recognize that this particular relationship has run its course. Although you might be afraid to let go, the universe has a new opportunity for you which will allow you to experience the kind of passion and satisfaction you have always dreamed of. Saying goodbye is never easy and can make you feel like you are a failure. You must not allow yourself to be persuaded by other people or your own doubts to keep holding on. Focus on opening your heart to a new opportunity. Leave the baggage of past mistakes behind you. It is important that during the letting go process, you are gentle with yourself. Allow yourself to have alone time. Write, meditate, paint, sing, dance. Do whatever you can to heal and let go of the pain that is holding you back. Recognize that your spirit is beckoning to you to grow. Okay, so it's, it's, it's time, friend. Love you guys. Happy motherfucking Wednesday. Uh, please hit that like button and uh, check your moon and rising. All right, y'all. Bye. Sagittarii. Hey, what's up, y'all? Happy motherfucking Wednesday. Hope y'all doing well. Let's get into your motherfucking reading, yeah? All right, so um, remember to check your moon and rising sign readings, especially if we start getting into this and these aren't, this one isn't resonating. It means your reading is elsewhere. You can also check your Venus as well. You can Google that to look that up, what your Venus sign is. Um, and please hit that like button, okay? And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, of course, okay? Sagittarius, one more time. the chariot which is ruled by the sign of cancer it's also about travel and movement it's also uh about warning you or you know just keeping your eye out don't get stuck in one place for too long it's about stepping out and being vulnerable and letting yourself shine um this is about successful endeavor endeavors successful travel successful movement um this is about finding balance and security in the path that you're in this also talks about karma's course so you're in a very karmic time if you've recently made uh, you know plans or or big big made you know taken taken a risk and tried something new and stepped out and done something great you're on the right path okay um, the the warning again is about let's not get stuck in one place for too long um, you know to be courageous and um, be excited about the future. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. <clears throat> oh, okay. <coughs> I turned my head like somebody was right, like you're right, right there with me. Okay, so lots of pentacles on the board. Three out of five pentacles. Um, some of you are dealing with earth sign people, or maybe even going back into the past and dealing with somebody who was earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, uh, Capricorn, okay? Feels like there was some sort of communication or dialogue with this person that felt... Uh, <laughs> Maybe they made you want to um, 
maybe they 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 invoked something within you or um and and maybe maybe this is your energy grounded and rooted in who you are and your self-worth and you were dealing with somebody who was giving you motherfucking major lip service okay so let's just talk about the characteristics of the card you can decide who's who and what's what okay earth sign air sign okay this man upright is generous he's wealthy he's a businessman he's good with money he's grounded he knows who he is he enjoys the finer things in life but he is humble and grounded about it okay he's doesn't get swept in, swept up too much in the material uh aspect of things although he does like nice things but he's grounded okay um this is air sign energy or somebody who's a terrible communicator either they're vicious and vindictive with their words very cutting with their words cold and calculated with their words or they can also be really detached and cut off okay um and not be able not they're really bad ex at expressing themselves also their perspective on the situation is skewed and um it's always they're always misperceiving things okay in the center we've got a reverse queen uh nine of pentacles reverse nine of pentacles so we're looking again at a similar no we're looking at energy, pinnacle energy that's reversed. It's like people who have a hard time dealing with their money, people who are dealing with issues with self self worth as well, people who um, have a hard time slowing down and taking the time and being thorough and taking the necessary steps. These are people who um, are really drawn to the material goods in the world as a ways to kind of pacify. Um, uh, not feeling well, not feeling balanced within themselves, um, as as to fill the void. Okay, there seems to definitely be kind of a theme about working on self worth. Uh, we have a maybe a hard time seeing how great we are or seeing the blessings that are actually there in our life. We're working on manifesting our dreams and coming back to balance. We got the star card, but it's reverse. Okay, more air sign energy. This is about living your dreams come true, and it's also about getting back to basics, your birthright, okay? And remembering what you're here for is to actually step into your greatness and to do whatever it is that your heart would want you to do. So, so at this time, there may be a little bit of confusion about <clears throat> money, how we make money, or what does that mean um, in terms of self-worth, uh, what do we want to make, and how are we going to express that through our body, through our body? Because um, I definitely feel like a like body is is kind of a major theme, um, and feeling grounded and rooted in who you are, and feeling safe in your body. All right, bottom of the deck. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So eight of swords is just just very uh heavy trapped energy uh no nobody wants this card right because look at her she she the thing about it is it's kind of more of an illusion than it is reality she's very 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 much in her head uh over the top in her head and stuck in her thoughts okay so the chariot came out for you guys to help you move through that energy they want you to remember that the path you're on will bring success but you got to move through it and you got to get out of your head okay so what's the opposite of i don't know if this is actually true but in my mind the opposite of air is water because the air is as high as you can get the water is as low as you can get like water is even below ground right so anyway the way that i'm looking at it is they're trying to bring more balance into your life sagittarius okay got a lot of air energy that showed up in the reading and then the chariot is this water energy so they're trying to bring more balance okay what needs to be healed or revealed victim consciousness i look these cards are dope i've been using them with everybody uh so don't feel bad okay <clears throat> stop blaming others and take responsibility for what you are creating easy to, to think that life is unfair and point a finger at others if you hear yourself saying life is unfair bad things always happen to me i'm not good enough nobody cares about me why me i can't do what i want to do etc 
then you are losing your power, nourishing your victim aspect, and ascertaining your place in the victim club. Your inner victim can stop you from moving forward by creating dramas, making you, stop, making you judge others, telling you that you don't deserve better, and keeping you stuck in a financial rut. Okay, so they want, they said, uh, they want you to build internal confidence, self-worth, and courage. Okay, get out of your comfort zone, work on expanding, okay? So the light side of the victim archetype is the victorious part, which can help you hold on to your, hold your power without getting angry and attacking others. It can also assist you to create healthy boundaries and act from a place of honesty, integrity, passion, and love. So the victim archetype, for those, those of y'all been paying attention, I've been doing work and researching, reading about, studying about archetypes. We all possess the victim archetype. There's four archetypes that all of us possess. And one of those that we all possess is the victim ar archetype. We all have it in us. And it can either help us or hinder us, right? It has its light and its shadow side. So at this time, they just want you to take a look at this. Okay, Sagittarius, I love you. If you're still here, please hit that like button. Remember to check your moon and rising signs. Love you guys. Bye. Virgo. Virgo, what's up? Happy motherfucking Wednesday. Hope you're doing well. Remember to check your moon and rising sign readings and hit that like button. And of course, subscribe while you're here. I would appreciate it so much. I love you guys. Let's get into a motherfucking reading. Virgo. Ah, the high priestess. Yes, let's let's bring it around town. That's the homegirl, the OG right here. High priestess um, talks about your psychic path, your intuitive path, okay? She is the deep inner knowing, okay? See the cross on her chest here represents the place she goes to in order to get in touch with what the truth is. This isn't somebody who needs to um, hear other people's opinions and advice. Um, this is somebody who spends time alone and gets quiet. It can be kind of a lonely path, maybe even a lonely time. She's ruled by the, the moon. So the moon represents our psych, inner, our psyche, you know, what, what's our deepest thoughts um, below our awareness. So she's a path of deep searching um, and just spending time with herself in order to, to discover the truth, okay? Um, some of her shadow attributes would be like keeping secrets that secrets that would hurt other people and um, just being kind of sneaky. Okay, so she's also ruled by the number two, which is about balance and change. That was the other way. Balance and change, direction, uh, polarities, good, bad, you know, right, wrong. Um, so finding a middle ground between those extremes, right? We're looking at um, finding balance in our moods as well. Okay. All right, Virgo. Oh, okay. Yes. Somebody's got a lot of choices here, but you might feel really overwhelmed by the choices, okay? You might feel like my, maybe too many choices, okay? Um, <clears throat> another major arcana popped out for you guys here, the emperor. The emperor is the father and the husband of the deck. So some of you either are the father or the husband, or you're dealing with issues with your father or husband, okay? The emperor upright talks about fair, fairness and order, uh, discipline, structure, He's a ruler, right? He's an emperor. So he is a fair, honest guy, but he's very structured. He's very disciplined and he likes things a certain way. Uh, there may be something about your behavior or your personality at this time that feels um, like you're lacking something, like you don't feel as fulfilled as you could. It may be like just you're kind of just going through the motions and doing the work and um, 
not feeling a lot of joy about what you're doing. What you are doing, though, is bringing you like stable income, stable stability within work or stability within how you're building your character at this time. So looking at self-worth, okay, and looking at issues with your body and your health, there is stability there. Um, <clears throat> but you, but just definitely feels like you don't feel so hot, okay, followed by Seven of Cups, which is like a lot of choices. Um, it's yours to be had. So you just pick what you want and it's yours. So you have a lot of uh, choices. Look, you start and finish with Cups. And isn't it interesting, though, you have all this choice here but you don't feel so hot like you actually do. This is about deserving. So when it's reversed, it's almost like you feel like you don't deserve uh, what's in front of you. <clears throat> so, yeah, so make sure you're going by the book. You know, one step at a time. You, Some of y'all might be tired of going by the book. Some of y'all might be ready to go off the beaten path and, and march the, to the drum of your own tune. March to the tune of your own, march to the beat of your own drum. There you go. Um, so some of you are feeling kind of depleted, okay, for sure. And it's like the same song, second verse. I'm a little bored here, okay? It's like, almost like what I'm feeling. <clears throat> Let's check the bottom of the deck. Don't put on, yeah, wish fulfillment, but it's reverse. So it feels like you guys are getting what you asked for you know it feels like um yeah you definitely got that wish but it's it's not man it's not quite the fulfilling uh thing you thought it would be okay it's almost like kind of empty okay so that's why the high priestess that's why the high priestess would be here is she's she's wanting you to to go within and get quiet and if there's some choice you have to make, a decision you have to make, a, a departure from an old way, um, she wants you to find the middle ground. Look, you guys got um, healing, um, not healing, letting go, letting go. Okay, so these cards, I like to say what needs to be healed or revealed. Okay, so you got to let something go. Let's read a little bit here. <clears throat> the situation has served its purpose. You're being challenged to change your point of view and recognize that this particular relationship has run its course. Although you might be afraid to let go, the universe has a new opportunity for you, which will allow you to experience the kind of passion and satisfaction you have always dreamed of. Saying goodbye is never easy and you can and can make you feel like you are a failure. You must not allow yourself to be persuaded by other people or your own doubts to keep holding on. Focus on opening your heart to a new opportunity. Leave the baggage of past mistakes behind you. It is important that during your letting go process, you are gentle with yourself. Allow yourself to have alone time. Write, meditate, paint, sing, dance. Do whatever you can to heal and let go of the pain that is holding you back. Recognize that your spirit is beckoning you to grow. Okay, Virgo, so that's pretty clear, yeah? Happy motherfucking Wednesday. If you're still here, please hit that like button and remember to share these videos and check your moon and rising for additional messages. Um, okay. I love you guys. Bye. Taurus. <laughs> that was obnoxious. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Happy motherfucking Wednesday. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for coming back and welcome if you're new. Remember to check your moon and rising sign readings for additional perspectives. Or if you start watching this and it's not resonating, that means your reading is over there. So go check that out. You can also check your Venus sign. Man, there's hell signs. You can check your Mercury sign, your Mercury reading, your, your Mars reading. Your, I'm like, damn, it's never ending. Like the rabbit hole, astrology is like a whole ass rabbit hole. That sounds <laughs> creepy. But you know what I mean? Uh, you know what I mean? like you go down that rabbit hole it's like really it's layers and okay Taurus let's go <clears throat> okay there you go Taurus we're bringing in the sunshine and the joy back into your life if you've gone through kind of a dark period they want you to look on the brighter side or maybe this is letting you know this is what's coming on into your life, okay? 
Um, some of us are having sons or having friends that have had children. So new babies coming into our life. We're looking at vulnerability. We're looking at leaving depress depression and feeling better. This is new, powerful, um, new energy coming in. Okay, so this is bomb to get. Okay, Taurus. <coughs> sorry, so sorry. Taurus. Okay, let's take it, let's take it, let's take it, let's take it. Can't see it. Hmm. Look at that what came out yes so vibrant energy y'all and completion of a cycle okay so the opportunities for you at this time are vast the world card is about the end of one period and moving into another so you've done well okay you've done really well and now it's time to celebrate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, friends, let's leave this depression. Hopefully this is uh, <clears throat> foreboding um, some joy. Foreboding. That is the wrong word. Foreboding. No, not foreboding. Foreboding. Okay, so you're maybe you're feeling forebo foreboding, but I used that wrong, I think. Okay, so center card here is the Nine of Swords. Yes, so this is feeling, this feels foreboding, right? This is depression, anxiety, insomnia, sleeplessness. Um, just, this is how I was like two weeks ago. I was, it only lasted one night, thank God. But girlfriend, don't you know I got that shit out my motherfucking system. So some of y'all maybe need to go through this. Um, this is just, this is tough energy, right? This is really tough energy. Um, <clears throat> but look, we have the world card combined with the six of swords. Feels like we're, we're leaving that period, okay? We're moving into a time that um, was kind of rocky. And now we're making a choice and we're going forward. There's something that needs to be rectified. Somebody needs to take accountability for something. We got the judgment card reversed. Maybe your your sadness or your heavy, the heavy energy is revolved around something somebody told you, something somebody needed to tell you, or something that you had to tell somebody else, or that is weighing on your um, is weighing on you. Okay, uh, whatever this is has had you feeling very out of sorts, right? reverse nine of pentacles is like ego 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 okay so it definitely feels like somebody here maybe even had to make a confession about money or uh, possessions uh resources yeah so leaving a heavy time guys uh let's check the bottom of the deck hmm so devil is about addictions or our shadow size. It's about being chained to a way of being that keeps repeating itself. Uh, this is about uh, addictions. Could be addictions to money. Could be addictions to working. Could be addictions to sex, drugs, rock and roll. Um, so spending. And it could be a, an addictive pattern about, you know, things that feel very superficial, like how we look and what we drive and oh my god like wearing this and wearing that so it could but um it's about addiction it's about shadow it's that side of us that's like kind of like we try not to like put it in the forefront like we try and kind of hide it we rather not deal with it. it's kind of uncomfortable so these things are coming up so that we can live in a more joyous space okay breaking free from those patterns uh, what needs to be healed or revealed? What needs to be healed or revealed for Taurus? What needs to be healed or revealed? <clears throat> Could be feeling sad because somebody owes you an apology. Mm. 
Oh wow, sadness. Number five. So let's let's look at this. It's easy to swallow your sadness and hide behind a fake smile. Hiding behind a fake smile would also be an attribute of the devil. It's just like you're hiding your sadness. That's this is shadow. Sadness, if you're hiding it for you, that's something to feel ashamed of or embarrassed of for some reason. So that would be a devil um, aspect. <clears throat> Yet sadness can open the door to your heart and help you access compassion. When you can truly allow yourself to cry and feel sorry, sorrow, I'm, so, I'm sorry, feel sorrow over the loss of a loved one, a lost opportunity, a broken heart, or a friendship that's ended, you cleanse your soul and allow your heart to heal. Yeah. Crying and feeling vulnerable can be a sign of strength, which demonstrates your connection to your body. Yeah, so when you can let yourself cry, it's really telling your body, like, I love you. And I'm going to let you do your thing. So, yeah, just for years, I just, I sucked it up. And I just would plug it up. And I just would salve it out. And it's just so, so, so not good. So not good. So I'm so sorry. And now we're coming back to balance, okay? It's really about coming back to balance and loving who you are in all your glory, in all your downfalls, okay? Crying and feeling, okay. Mm -hmm. To admit weakness can allow you to know yourself, embrace your limitations, and evolve. Be, be willing to let go of the cold walls of protection you have created, which make you feel empty and sick. You don't need to get lost in your emotions. Just give yourself time to feel them and let them move through your whole being, cleansing and purifying your heart, body, and soul, okay? Go through it, mama. Go through it, friend. Okay? It's there for you. You got to take care of it. All right, y'all. Happy motherfucking Wednesday. If you're still here, please hit that like button and go check your moon and rising sign readings as well. I love you, love you, love you. And see you in the next one. Capricornias. Yes, Capricorn. Happy motherfucking Wednesday. Hope you're doing well. I love you guys. Remember to check your moon and rising sign readings, especially if this doesn't feel like it's resonating, then that means your reading is over there. You can also check your Venus and uh, you can Google that. Uh, yeah. It can just go on and on. You know what I'm saying? There's your first card. Oops, I didn't even start with this though. Let me put that to the side. Ooh, okay, so let's start with majors. Uh, remember to like this reading, please. <clears throat> Subscribe, of course. But liking is super beneficial to my channel, so I appreciate it. <clears throat> Sorry. the hierophant yes so this is a spiritual path these are people who are spiritual leaders or um rely heavily not even not in a bad way but or follow spiritual leaders okay the hierophant is a counterpart to the high priestess she's the inward path so she goes within in order to get her spiritual lessons to really get in touch with her inner quiet wisdom where he's kind of more the outward path he teaches spirituality he learns about spirituality he guides um the collective about spiritual um practices and things like that this could be about issues about your childhood and what you learned um about your religion or your spirituality as a child and how it can be a, at, at, at this time it's evolving and changing and you're growing okay this can also have to do with um <clears throat> In its shadow side, we're looking at uh, leaders that are abusive with their power, right? People that can take advantage of those that are weaker than them. So, um, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, oh okay, friends. So let's.
So there is some choice that's showing up or some change of direction that you've been having a hard time with. So in order to, to figure that out, they want you to go within and get quiet. Four of Swords is meditation, contemplation, uh, going within. Um, stop listening to gossip. Stop hashing your story out to your friends and family, things like that. The first card that showed up for you was the Chariots card of Cancer as well. So uh, I believe Cancer is the opposite sign of Capricorn, which um, I won't, I, I won't, I won't expand because I actually don't know too much about what that means about them being opposites. If that's like a um, a compliment or not. Um, so Cancer is about success. It's also about karma's course. So you're in a place in your life that's moving right along in on the in the right direction. We're working on self-worth and fi finding balance within how we make money in our careers and our income. Um, so the second card that came out is Nine of Pentacles. And when Nine of Pentacles is reversed, she's either like really in her ego. Um, this is somebody who's like very materialistic, like flashy, like I only want to, you know, I wear diamonds to show people I have money, like, like very kind of like hoity-toity. Not necessarily though. This could also be people who the ego goes the other way. They kind of downplay their beauty they kind of um don't step into um their power and they kind of hide in their ego the opposite way okay feels like some of you guys have been um feeling kind of like you're doing a lot of work maybe like a lot of people are coming at you okay and it seems like you're wanting a change of direction in that. But there's some sort of like resistance to, to making that change. Uh, you're wanting to rest. They're wanting you to rest. Okay. They're wanting you to go within in order to make this choice. Feels like you've been doing, going it alone. Me against the world. Okay. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Some of you are working on recognizing, realizing how beautiful you truly are. Okay. So that's part of it too. Let's check the bottom of the deck. The two of Cups. Hmm. Okay. So it just feels like some some of you here are going to be running into a really yummy relationship if you haven't found it already. Um, this relationship may even help you in in a way help you really kind of recognize how beautiful and powerful you actually are. Um, you know, we should always do our, our own inner work and shouldn't rely on a relationship for that. However, sometimes you do meet those people who really help you kind of see how great you really are. So either some of you are having that experience now or it's on the verge of happening for you. You've had to do a lot on your own, all right? And so it's just time for you to rest is really what I'm feeling more than anything. We end strongly on the Four of Swords, which is, again, like I said, this guy. So you've been through a lot. Um, you maybe have even had some money troubles, and they they things are coming back to balance. Okay, Capricorns. Now, <clears throat> yeah, you got two twos, which is a balanced number. It's also about couples. It's about change of direction, travel, uh, finding balance within um, extremes. Okay. What needs to be healed or revealed for Capricorns this week? What needs to be healed or revealed for Capricorns this week? What needs to be healed or revealed? <clears throat> One more of these. If it doesn't fly, then I'll cut, cut, cut. Capricorn, please. How teachable are you? So this is about not being rigid and stuck in the same pattern. We have to be teachable, right? It's interesting. It would come with the hierophant because he is a teacher. He's a leader. He's a mentor. So within your own spiritual practice, uh, what are you learning? You know what I mean? And, and maybe even if you're somebody who teaches others or guides others in some way, um, what are you learning from your students? Okay. So it's about being flexible, knowing that we don't know everything. 
so that we can be more connected to reality, all right, and be more connected to those that we're working with and are spending time with. Okay, Capricorn, love you guys. If you're still here, please hit that like button and, of course, subscribe. I would appreciate it greatly. Share these videos and uh, check your moon and rising for additional perspectives. All right, y'all. Love you.